Greetings everyone, in this video we'll be looking at NCA level 1 uh, number achievement standard at an excellence level. So some of the skills covered in this video will be uh, looking at rounding, uh, finding fractions of a given uh, quantity, also looking at uh, finding the percentage of a given quantity, including GST calculations, percentage increase and uh, exchange rates. So we'll quickly have a look at the example. Tim and Tim are planning to travel to England for a holiday. Uh, they plan to be in England for uh, three months and during that time uh, take a three-week uh, bus tour uh, through uh, France and Spain. And uh, you're given some of the information. So the first uh, thing is um, they're able to estimate that for each day that they will be spending in England, um, between them uh, they will need on average uh, $250. Remember this is rounded to the nearest uh, $50. So that's just an average. So we will need to um, look at rounding and uh, using this info to find the minimum and maximum daily cost that they will need uh, while they are not on the bus trip. So we also uh, given the information about their weekly earnings. So Tim is able to earn uh, $1,850 each week and Tim is able to earn uh, $1,650 each week. And we also know that Tim is able to save two-fifths of his income while uh, Tim is able to save 35% of his income um, and they will be able to put this towards their trip. The cost of the return air ticket um, is $2,500 each. Remember it's uh, each, so we will need to double this for both of them. And uh, also there is a credit card fee, which is the online processing fee for air tickets. And this is 3% uh, of the total cost of return air tickets. Uh, we also given the uh, travel insurance, uh, which is $450 uh, plus GST, and GST in New Zealand is uh, 15% uh, for both of them. And uh, we also know that the three week uh, bus trip will cost them uh, $2,200, and this is in great um, British pounds uh, per person. And uh, this is the currency that's used in uh, England. And the currency exchange rate is one New Zealand dollar is 0.519 now uh, Great British uh, pounds. And um, once we have got this information, we are asked to um, do this. So our task is uh, to find how much money Team and Tim will need to save and how long will it take them to save uh, for this trip. I would suggest if you could pause the video and try this yourself and uh, then play the video and see if your answer matches with this. So in this question, we just mentioned three months trip. Uh, we are not told uh, how many days. So uh, you will need to ensure that uh, they do not run out of uh, money during the trip. So in this case, it's important for you to consider the maximum number of days uh, for uh, three consecutive months that they can be out there. So in this case, I've chosen uh, uh, 92 days as a total, um, assuming that they will go on a trip. Uh, during the months of November, December, and January. So November has got 30 days, then 31 and 31. So total is 92 days. Um, and uh, we also given uh, weekly savings. So in this case, we've got Tim who is able to save uh, two fifths of his income and uh, two fifths of 1850 is uh, $740. So that's a fraction of a quantity. And uh, likewise, we're given the information about Tim, who is able to save 35% uh, of his uh, earnings. So it is 35%, percentage is out of 100. So 35 over 100 times um, 1650. So this gives you uh, $577.50 for uh, Tim. And uh, we can use this information to find the total weekly savings uh, for both of them. So this is just basic addition, 740 plus $577.50 gives you $1,370.50. So this is the weekly savings. So we can then find the expenses for the upcoming trip that they are planning to go to. So in this case, return air ticket was given as $2,500 per person. And we know team and term, there are two people going on this trip. So we will need to double this. So this will be $5,000. And on top of that, uh, we are told that they will be paying a 3% surcharge, uh, which is the online processing fee for the air ticket. So there's different ways in which you can um, uh, do this uh, percentage increase. 
uh, 3% is added to um, $5,000. So you can find 3% of $5,000 and add $5,000. Uh, but the quick way of uh, doing this is using the multiplier. So we know 3% is added to 100%. So we get 103% all up and 103% in decimals is 1.03. So that's how I got this multiplier. Uh, that's quick and easy way of um, getting the uh, percentage increase value. So $5,000 for both of them times 1.03, which gives you $5,150. So this is what uh, it will cost for the total return air ticket for both of them. And then uh, we are given the information about uh, travel insurance. It says $450 plus GST. So we will add GST to the amount that's given and it's for both of them. So we don't have to double this one. So 415 times 1.15. So that's the multiplier because we're adding 15% to uh, the uh, existing amount. So this gives you uh, $517.50. And then uh, we'll look at the next uh, bullet point. So we've got uh, the information about trip. Uh, bus trip uh, over here, it says they will go on a three-week uh, bus trip uh, through to, um, uh, to Tour France and Spain. So in this case, uh, three weeks is same as uh, um, 21 days all up so seven days per week so seven three is 21 so 21 days they will be on a bus trip so now we can use this information to find the cost so in this case uh, 2200 great um, britain pounds um, is for each so i will need to double this so we get uh, 4400 great british pounds there and then uh, we are given the um, exchange rate where we are told that one New Zealand dollar is 0 0.159 um, Great British Pounds. So using this information, we can change the bus trip cost in New Zealand dollars. Keep in mind that Tim and Tim are saving uh, money here in New Zealand. So we need to uh, change all the currency denominations into New Zealand dollars. So that's why we have to uh, perform this step. So 4,400 Great British Pounds, if I divide that by the exchange rate given, 0 0.519 i will get the uh, value in new zealand dollars so this will be eight thousand four hundred and seventy seven dollars and eighty four cents uh, some of the students may round this to uh, nearest 10 cents 80 cents um, i'm just using 84 uh, cents here for now it doesn't make a huge difference at the end uh, so if you've uh, rounded it to 80 cents um, do not um, worry so we also know that they will be on uh, the bus trip for three uh, weeks and we can use that information to find the number of days that they will not be on a bus trip so we've got all up three months trip was 92 days so now you to take away the um, number of days on bus trip which was three weeks uh, equivalent to 21 days uh, leaves you with uh, 71 days that they will be um, in england so using the information we were told earlier about the um, average daily expenses. So we were told that um, the average daily expense is $250. And remember, this is rounded to the nearest uh, $50. So we have to um, uh, use this information to see what their minimum daily cost could be and what could be the top end, which is the maximum cost. So in this case, um, the minimum is 225 dollars now you must be wondering how i got this it's pretty straightforward so you just take half of the amount that you are rounding nearest to so this one is rounded uh, off to um, nearest 50. so you just take half of 50 which is 25 so you go 250 take away 25 so that gives you the minimum amount so 225 so that's your minimum amount and uh, to find the top end if i added 25 it goes to 275 you have to pause and think rounding so if it's five or more we will round it up so i can't put 275 here because if i've got 275 and if i'm rounding this to nearest 50 it will go to 300 that means uh, it's not 250 so what i did is i just knocked one dollar off so we ended up with 274 dollars um, some people may argue why we didn't take out one cent and say that it is $274.99. Uh, that will also round down to 250 but I will just um, knock one off. It's not a huge difference. So we'll 
you can use this to find the total cost for 71 days. So the minimum value is given by $225 times 71, which is $15,975. And the maximum that they may need is 274 times 71, which is $19,454. Now using this, uh, we can calculate the total expenses uh, for their trip. So the minimum uh, total expenses will be 5,150, which is um, what we have here, including the credit card fee. So that's the return air ticket, plus the travel insurance of $517.50, plus the cost in New Zealand dollars. So this is the bus trip, which is $8,477.84, plus the minimum daily expenses while they are not on bus trip, which is $15,975. Now, using these information, we get, get a total of $30,120.34. This is the minimum cost uh, for the um, trip. Uh, likewise, we can uh, calculate the maximum. So maximum 5150 stays the same. The only thing that's different now is using 274 by 71, our maximum uh, daily expenses in England is $19,454. So this gives you $33,599.34. So this is the total expenses. And uh, we can now use this information to uh, write the answer to the first part to the problem, which said uh, using the following information, um, find out how much money Tim and Tim will need to save. So for this trip, uh, Tim and Tim will need to save a minimum of $30,120.34 and a maximum of uh, $33,599.34. Uh, so that's the um, value that they will need, the maximum. Um, it's important to focus on the maximum amount because if I have calculated the maximum expenses they need, uh, that will ensure that they do not run out of cash on their trip, so that way they are safe. And uh, the next part to the problem says how long it will take them to save uh, for this trip. So we have already done the weekly savings here, $1,317.50. So what you just need to do is uh, divide the minimum and maximum um, total expenses with um, the weekly savings total weekly savings that will give you the number of weeks so i've already done this for you make sure you round it to the uh, whole number so this will take them uh, somewhere between 23 and 26 weeks uh, i've already um, given you information that you must round it up even if it was 22.09 for example uh, you will need to write 23 weeks it has to be whole number of weeks in this context. Now, once you've done this, uh, this will give you an excellence grade, provided you've done the communication. Now, for a more secure excellence, uh, you can explore the impact of fluctuation in the exchange rates. Now, we were already told that the exchange rate was one New Zealand dollar is 0 0.519. Now, you also know that uh, the exchange rates uh, fluctuate often. So if this is the current exchange rate, over the next 23 to 26 weeks, that exchange rate will definitely change, right? Because it fluctuates often. So you keeping this in mind, so for a more secure excellence, um, you can um, then explore a scenario by changing the exchange rate to uh, um, another value. So in this case, I've said, uh, what if the ex new exchange rate is uh, 0 0.5225? So using this information, you can then calculate the um, new total expenses because if the exchange rate changes, so this will now become 0.5225, which I have quoted as a new exchange rate, and that will change this New Zealand dollar value. And if that changes, then these numbers here will change. Likewise, the totals will change accordingly. And then you can just divide by the weekly savings of 13, 1750 to see if it changes the number of uh, weeks required. It may or it may not, right? But please do not change this exchange rate by a significant amount. So I can't say one New Zealand dollar will be 0 
All right, so that's a huge change in the exchange rate. So they do fluctuate, but uh, not that much. I hope this makes sense. Um, I would suggest if you can uh, pause the video and try this yourself. In the next video, we will be looking at uh, another problem at an excellence level. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.